All right, man. Nick Cannon apologizes um, after saying he wasn't going to apologize and losing his partnership with Viacom. But let's talk about it. Also going to talk about Dwayne Wade fake ass as well, too. But uh, share the video. Check out our music and entertainment playlist for more videos like this. We'll be back, man. And um, yeah, he apologized. And he retained his uh, job with Fox. Um, he They had a after the remarks, they basically said they talked to Nick, and then that kind of uh, reveals why Nick apologized. Um, but, hey, once again, you got to stop looking up to these celebrities for po uh, political help um, to get us out to these dark places. But, hey, ain't no other leaders out there. You know what I'm saying? Even ones that try to play leader like Umar Johnson and and uh, Brother Pilot and, I mean, Tariq Nasheen and Dr. Boyce Watkins, I mean, Whoever you want to, whoever you want to dub those leaders, Oprah, Gail, you know, you can't look to them neither. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a, it's a dark place for black people at this point, man. Um, because who gonna throw, who gonna sacrifice, you know, their life? You know, once you sacrifice, and I think Nick Cannon found that out yesterday. You know, once he sacrificed, and he, you know, he sacrificed for like what a few hours, 10, 12 hours. He was seeing that it was a lot of black people putting him down. 50 Cent putting him down, you know, and if I'm Nick Cannon, I don't blame him. And I said this yesterday on the live stream, excuse me. I don't blame Nick Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at the situation, you know, when he was exposing him and them, and he came out with those racist records, people said, oh, he apologized. And they went against the grain on him. So as a black man, if you, I can't have y'all, if I, if you can't have my back, when I'm, by, when I'm battling a white supremacist like Eminem, I know y'all gonna not have my back, you know, versus Viacom. And y'all ain't gonna boycott Viacom. Y'all gonna be watching CBS, Nickelodeon, the CW Network, BET, Showtime. They own too much. They got a port, they own a portion of, I think, 21st Century Fox. So if y'all went against the grain on me versus Eminem, when I have a vi records of him being racist, Black girls ain't this, black bees ain't this, black bees ain't this, white girls better. Black women, oh, he apologized for that. And come on, they still talk about Nick Cannon talking about a white woman is the symbol of success when he, uh for a black man. But he was basically saying that's what that's what you know black people think. Shit, Jack Johnson thought that. The old heavyweight champion. So I don't blame nobody, bro. I don't blame none of these dudes because you know, being out here tap dancing and being a raccoon like Terry Crews is fruitful. Terry Crews took his uh, other job, you know, that he left. I forget the name of it, the situation with Gabrielle Union. Don't matter. It don't matter. You can't sacrifice for these black people. These black people don't care about their own lives. These black people don't care about their own kids. They don't care about their own community. They don't care about their own bodies. So why should I sacrifice? All that conscious, all that conscious stuff, it doesn't matter. So I don't, I don't, I don't blame the 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 the, the tap dancers and the buck dancers and the ones that look like us. That's not for us, like Oprah and Gail and Fifty and Terry Crew. I don't blame them for doing what they're doing. Cause you go out here and you try to be a symbol of, of leadership. You try to be down for the people. You try to feed black people. You try to help black people out, and all they do is gun you down in your own community, physically. Or, you know, figuratively. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's going to happen. Look at all the people that tried to put work in their neighborhoods and got gunned down. Look at, look at, look at Nipsey Hussle. Tried to stay in the hood. Gunned his ass down. So I don't blame none of them. I'm not mad at Nick. Nick did the right thing for Nick. Because had he went out there and became, and became an individual boss or work with Puffy on Revolt, or had he just created his own network? People wouldn't support Nick. People saying, well, uh, uh, Nick is trying to divide the community when the time we should be battling. I mean, how is he trying to divide the community by by enlightening people, bringing people up the game? Them same people he talk about, they helping oppress us because they don't want the truth to be out. That's what people don't understand. But once again, you can't help people. You can't help people who can't be helped. You can't salvage a car and it's totally told, no matter how much money you want to put into it. And it's at the point where black people can't be salvaged. It's, you know, it's beyond repair. You're just going to put them in the, in the junkyard and crush it. I don't look to help. Man, every time I look to help somebody, dog, I end up on the wrong end of the stick. 
I try to show people love, try to help them out, try to give them game, try to put them in the right position, try to help them get jobs, try to put them, try to give them a place to where they get that, get back on their feet. Now, and, and I always get in a, in a position where I'm fucked at the end of the day. So I'm done. I'm done with that shit too. I'm done with the conscious movement. I'm done helping people out, doing the right thing. I'm done with that shit. You know, real talk. And I don't blame Nick Cannon. Do his best for you. Do his best with your kids. Because if you go out there and you play Robin Hood, you play Hero, you play Meteor Man, you play Blank Man, you play uh, Static Shock, you play uh, Black Lightning, the very same people that you fight for are going to be the ones that do you in. They're going to be the ones that put the bullet in your neck. You know, it's the very same people. If they go against the grain, against a white boy that's saying black women ain't this, black bees ain't this, white girls better. If they go against the grain with you on that, just imagine on this grand scale, they gonna help them. They gonna help them people put you in the dirt. Oh yes, Nick touched me on my wrist in '99. Oh, oh, in, in 50, 1955, Nick Cannon kissed me. I wasn't even born in '55, and people to believe it. Look at Bill Cosby. Who did Bill Cosby and black people? Sharing it, joking, laughing at Bill Cosby. It wasn't white people. Majority of white people putting dick, uh, Bill Cosby dick in the dirt. It was us. Same thing with R. Kelly. He crying and all this, that, and the third. Instead of looking at the parents funny who allowed them for R. Kelly to do what he did, we just sit there and we bury R. Kelly. You know, we only canceling black people. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, man, the, 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 like I said before, man, it's hard. It's hard to stay down for the for the cause with black people. Black people are so lost. You know, that's why I don't support that Black Lives Matter shit. I want justice for George Floyd and Drayshawn Reed and, of course, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey. But you know what? I want that justice. But you know what? I'm not putting I'm not putting shit on the line no more. Nothing. I ain't putting shit on the line no more. You know what I'm saying? We can't be saved. We too far gone. They they getting it exactly they getting exactly how they want it. So I don't blame Nick for apologizing. I'm I'm kind of small. I'm a small portion disappointed, but I definitely I'm an understanding dude. Say your job at Fox, so you can have somewhere to go. But my whole thing about Nick, he should have just apologized from the beginning. I was just trying to enlighten and enrich, and you know maybe I got some facts wrong and lie and live your life. Black people don't got your back, no way, Nick. They ain't never completely got nobody back unless they unless they buck dance and they raccoon. You know, when Kanye put that red hat on, he got a whole bunch of nobody turn their back on Kanye and a black community for real. Only a few. Everybody still wearing the shoes. Everybody still wearing the clothes, the slippers, loving his music coming out. But then again, they out here protesting against black on black uh, and police brutality and and talking about a uh, racist Karen pulled to get out of here. Ain't nothing, only thing worse than a, than a racist is dudes like uh, uh, Kanye, who's a raccoon. That's the only thing worse. And y'all support him, so come on, get miss me with that. Y'all support 50 and, and Oprah still. A lot Black women hate to, hate to put Oprah dick in the dirt, don't they? They do not want to put Oprah in the dirt, so it, it miss me with that. Miss me with this black flower, black pit, fist stuff, miss me with that. Because when Nick when Nick been doing stuff and putting black people on and exposing Eminem to let y'all know what it was, y'all went against the grain on them. But y'all continue to support Kanye and 50 Cent, and they was wrong. Y'all joke about Terry Crews and all that stuff, but y'all support dudes just like Terry Crews. So I don't even care, man, about that no more, man. So like I said before, ain't no helping black people, dog. Only thing you can do is get yours. Like MC Breeze, I gotta get mine. Pac said, I gotta, you gotta get yours. You, I'm, I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna get mine. I'm done. I'm done trying to enrich and enlighten people and, and trying to help people help people out. Cause anytime I help some of these sisters and these brothers out, I end up on the shitty end of the stick. And they can't even find that. And all this fake and all this raccoon and buck dancing, they get all the shares, they get all the love, they get all the donations, they get all the hugs, they get all the celebrations. So forget that, dog. Forget that. Nick, do you. You know what I'm saying? You, you did the Dr. Sibby uh, 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 doc coming up. You put numerous people on on Wild and Out for over 15 years. At one point, they was getting 50 racks to show some of them dudes on there. 
you know, so, you know, it is what it is, man, so, you know, like I said before, your own people gonna be the ones that do you in, not the white people, your own people, all they do is give you the, the information, they give you the rope, and then your people just, they just gonna hang you, but Dwayne Wade, he, he supported Nick, and then he deleted and said, I was uneducated, I should have read the whole thing, like, at the end of the day, I don't have no respect for Dwayne Wade as a man, as a hooper no more, you know, wearing pink hair, letting Gabrielle Union turn him out. I mean, come on, man. Had his ex-wife living on the street, begging for money. Don't no real man do that. The mother of their child. At the end of the day, my baby mama, if I have one, you know, I'm going to make sure she always straight. All right? Because I'm already going to establish that, you know, what that, that report and that dialogue going to be. Ain't none, ain't none of my, ain't nobody close to me going to be living on the street. She had to do some real foul stuff. And he and she he left her for Gabrielle Union. Then let Gabrielle Union turn his youngest son, the youngest son out. So what real man letting the black woman turn their life out? You know what I'm saying? And Gabrielle Union ain't even that bad, bro. She ain't got no booty, no chest for real. Like he let this this basic Hollywood chick nobody liked in Hollywood turn his life out. And then he gonna try to be pro black and support Nick Cannon, and then delete the tweet and then piss on Nick Cannon. I'm telling you, dog man. Telling you, man, just like LeBron James in that China shit, he started capping for them Chinese people against Daryl Morey. You no know, Daryl Morey, a white man from the Rockets, but oh, you know we don't do that. You know, come on. And then China still severed ties with them. So, like, like I said before, man, you gotta stop looking at Hollywood for 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 black help, but ain't no other help because you know even the Umars and the Tariq Nasheed and your pastors, you can't trust them. It's just that, you know, it's over with. I think it's truly over with. I think all I think they really accomplished in their mission on destroying our communities. It really is. They they done it. They done it. Crack cocaine, guns, welfare, slavery, you know what I'm saying? You know, killing all the leaders, getting all the leaders out here. I think they finally won the war. Now, I don't know what's gonna tip it back in our in our in our side. You know, they want I don't know what's gonna tip it back in our side, but you know, mysteries come, you know, and they go. So we don't know what what could be that can help us out. But I, I just don't see no help coming for a long time. But uh, shout out to Nick Cannon. Um, do what's best for you. I'm not knocking no man who do what's best for them. As long as people out there celebrating 5-0, Curtis Jackson, Kanye West, Terry Crews. I mean, people still supporting, you know, numerous dudes out there, man. That That's 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 really bad for the community. They still supporting Oprah, still supporting Gail. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg had to apologize, and so did Nick Cannon. So, I mean, you do what's best for your family. Do what you got to do to feed your family. I ain't knocking you. I ain't knocking you for whatever you do, whatever decision. I ain't knocking under brothers that's choose with a white woman, Korean woman on your arm. I ain't knocking none of y'all. Just don't try to be here and, and preach that black, that black fair kind Quran shit to me. That's all I'm saying. Don't preach that conscious shit to me. Don't preach this, oh, we need to buy back the black block. I don't want to hear none of that no more. None of it. I don't want to hear none of it. So y'all know what it is. Check out music entertainment playlist. Let me know what you guys think about Nick apologizing about pink hair, Mook, Dwayne Wade, bro, being down for the cause and then remembering why he putting dresses on and why he letting Gabrielle Union turn him out and, and falling in uniform with the man won't. But hey, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash out PayPal description. Best way to donate personally, share the video. And don't forget Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook group, all those links in the description. You can check me out if you need to get in touch for a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. All my information is there. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for the one time. Y'all know the business is we don't.